Hi friends, what is up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla Salenza. If you're new here, if you're not, welcome back. I am so tired today. I'm not gonna lie, I actually just woke up from like a half an hour, 45 minute nap and it is only 11.45, so... I have decided that I'm gonna take you through a little gym vlog today. So basically it's gonna be like a little get ready with me. I'm gonna show you like my little process of like getting ready, my pre-workout snack, you know, what supplements I take, how I choose my gym outfit, and then I'm gonna be hitting a pull workout. So back and biceps. So I'm gonna take you through that. I'm gonna show you how I warm up for upper body days. I'm gonna take you through my workout and then what I do after my workout. So post-workout meal and all that good stuff. I wanna go to the gym in like the next hour or so. So I'm gonna have my pre-workout meal now. Having a pre-workout meal is obviously super important because you want to get some protein and carbs in your body to give you energy for your workout. If you're gonna have a bigger meal it should be anywhere between like an hour or two before. I find like my sweet spot is like an hour because I'm not having like a huge meal but it's also not a snack. So like one hour before is like really ideal for me. This is something that you guys have seen in all of my vlogs and it is protein oatmeal. I literally eat this every single day and I never get sick of it. So I just use Quaker Oats oatmeal. Usually I use the brown sugar or yeah, the brown sugar flavor, but I accidentally bought the wrong one and I didn't realize until yesterday when I was making oatmeal and I was like, ooh, I bought the regular. So it doesn't really taste like anything. I just put it in a bowl, I mix it with some water and then I pop it in the just spilt water and then I pop that in the microwave usually I do 45 seconds and then I'll mix it and then do another 25 to 30 seconds so oatmeal is done I'm gonna put it on my scale and zero it out because now I'm going to add my maple brown sugar protein oatmeal powder so I just tear it out to zero as you can see and then I add my protein powder I want to get it to 10 grams okay it's a little bit more and then I mix this this is how it looks after I mix the protein in it it mixes really well it looks really good it's still really hot so I'm gonna put it off to the side next I just wash and chop up some strawberries I'm gonna actually aim to get 75 grams of that which we will scale in a second so this is the product of my pre-workout meal it's 26.5 grams of carbs 2.7 grams of fat and 12 grams of protein I am going to enjoy this lovely meal and I will catch you guys in a bit Okay, it is now 12.30. We are gonna head into my room right here and we're gonna pick my gym fit of the day. These are my infamous drawers that you guys have always seen. So we're doing back and biceps. We need obviously something that shows my back off. So I'm thinking this or we can go with this. Or I haven't worn this one in a while. So maybe that one actually. These are the choices. I'm probably just going to wear leggings, so I can wear these. How about I wear these light blue ones and this? Gonna add my crew socks to the pile and then I'm gonna wear my high top Converse. This might look unfamiliar because usually you guys are used to my mirror being over there where there's a lot better light. But as you can see, I put my Christmas tree up. So my mirror is kind of just chilling here for now beside my, my pantry. So it's like a little bit dark, but just doing a quick fit check. So this is what it looks like. Honestly, it's really dark. So I'm gonna have to show you at the gym probably, but I'm gonna add my Converse looks really cute together looking good honestly this reverse diet gonna take pre-workout now because i definitely need it today so above my fridge is like all of my supplements this side more is like alan's kind of stuff but what we need today is this alani nutrition pre-workout and also i need my eaa's so these are the two products that i need right now so this is alani nutrition pre-workout right now i'm using the hawaiian shaved ice flavor it literally just tastes like berries <laughs> So just grabbed a glass of water and my frother. I'm gonna mix one scoop in the water today. I'm not gonna dry scoop just because I just don't feel like it today. So I'm gonna put one scoop of the Alani Nutrition in the cup of water. Then I just take the frother. You can literally buy this anywhere, Amazon, um, literally supplement stores I'm pretty sure, but I got mine from Walmart. Look how pretty the color is. It's funny having my mirror here now because like I feel like it's weird like I kind of have to stand here to hide it All right, cheers to pre-workout This is so good 
so good before this flavor i was using pine oh, aloha pineapple i think it was called and it was basically just like a pina colada almost like it just tasted like you were on vacation that's probably the best way to describe it this tastes so fruity it's not too sweet it's not too sour it's like it's so good probably 10 out of 10 like i like it better than the aloha pineapple flavor now next thing i do is i choose my gila mix for my workout so i have black blue purple and i have white probably white today because i feel like that's gonna match my outfit the best that's literally how i treat my gila mixes i match them to my outfits and it just makes me feel just a tad bit better and just gives me a better workout i feel like everything needs to match and just I love it. If you guys want one of these, use my code Kayla. It gets you 20% off and free shipping to Canada and the US. So the next thing I do is I fill my Gila mix up with water and I put some ice in it because I love drinking everything freezing cold, especially when I'm working out. So I'm gonna crack a bunch of ice and just throw that in. Usually like five or six ice cubes. And then I'm gonna take my EAA. So this is from Redcon Grunt, and this is the mango pineapple flavor. Okay, I totally lied. This is pineapple banana. I don't know why I said pineapple mango, but it's really good. So what I do is I add one scoop of that into my cup, and then I shake it all together. I kind of spilled a little bit of it. So mix, 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 mix. Now I need to pick what Converse I'm going to wear because obviously Converse. I kind of wanted to wear my white ones because I feel like that would match, but I just love wearing these black and white ones. So honestly, I think I might just do it. All done. Now I will just put my hair up. I might just do it at the gym because like it really looks nice right now. So I don't want to touch it. This is my closet. So like my pump covers are usually here, but like... I think I'm just gonna wear this to be honest with you. I'm gonna pull it out. It's just from Balance. It's this like crop sleeve zip up thing. I think I'm just gonna wear that. My gym bag is also in here right there. My freaking clothes hide it, which is funny. I'm gonna take this barbell pad out because I'm not doing legs. And I also think I'm gonna bring my lifting belt just in case because I think I'm gonna do rack pulls today. And I honestly might try wearing this with barbell bent over rows. We'll see. This is just from two pood or pod I don't know. But one of my girlfriends that I met like via social media, her name is Kayla also. She is affiliated with them. So I used her code and I love this belt. So I have that packed. I have my AirPods, which are important. And I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna put this on. It has little like thumb holes, which I love. I'm not gonna wear this to work out, but I'm just gonna put this on and then my jacket over top and we are going finally. It's literally 12.56. It's taking me forever to leave, but we are going now. I have everything, put my jacket on, if it would focus. I have my gym bag, got my mask, my sunglasses, and we're going. All right, guys, so I am finally at the gym. First things first, I always need to start my Apple Watch. I really hate sometimes I end a workout and I'm like, okay, I need to end my Apple Watch and I completely forgot to start it. So I'm trying to make it a habit of starting it right away. So for my upper body day, I always start with dynamic stretching, just like lower body days, but I do upper body focus. So as you can see, I'm using a long resistance band and I'm just doing a bunch of like mobility exercises. So I'm just like going from front to back I'm doing some arm swings I'm just trying to open up my shoulders my chest and all of that good stuff I'm just using this long resistance band from Amazon but you can get them from a lot of places like supplement stores lift and conquer there is a ton of different places to get them now after my dynamic stretching which I do for about three to five minutes I start my workout with rack pulls so as you can see I have the bar set to about my knee height and I have a pronated grip handle, so that means my palms are facing down, so my hands are over the bar, and I am pulling 185 pounds. I do this for four sets of six. After that, I'm moving into barbell rows. Again, I have a pronated hand grip, so as you can see in this clip, my palms are facing down and my hands are over the bar instead of under the bar. I did two sets of eight at 95 pounds, and then I moved into two sets of five at 100 and 15 pounds. 
As you can see here, I was struggling a little bit. I added my belt um, to try and give me a little bit more support. Looking back at this video, I'm not entirely happy with how the lift went because as you can see, I was swinging a little bit, so I'm gonna definitely work on that. After that, I moved into my bicep curls. I did two sets of 12 reps using a 30 pound barbell. After that, I did two sets of eight at 40 pounds. Honestly, I was feeling really strong today and I haven't barbell curled um, 40 pounds in quite some time, so I gave it a go. As you can see, I was struggling on the last few sets, but my arms look unreal. I love looking at them in the uh, mirror. Next on the list is single arm rows. I really like incorporating unilateral exercises into my workouts just because a lot of them are you use two hands. So this one is great. I did three sets of eight per arm and I'm using 45 pound dumbbell. So I started on the right side and then after that I went to the left side. Now we're moving into a superset. So I'm using this lat pull down machine. It's a little bit different. I'm not entirely sure what it's called, but I actually really like it. I did three sets of 10 here. And honestly, girls, if you are trying to build like bigger glutes and you kind of want that hourglass illusion, you most definitely need to work on your back. As you can see here, you can really see that like hourglass figure. After I completed one set of 10 reps, I moved into these plate curls. So I'm just using a 25 pound plate. I grabbed it from the plate rack and I just brought it over to where I was so that I could just do it right one after the other. And I did that for 10 reps as well. Last but not least, I'm moving into my burno. I'm doing single arm cable rows. I did three sets of 10 per arm. I can't remember entirely what weight I was using. I think it was 27.5 pounds. So as you can see, it's kind of like a lawnmower cable movement. So my palms start downwards. And then when I move it towards me, I turn my palms inside. Okay, I just finished my workout. Honestly, my hands are killing me. This might be gross, but like these calluses, oh my god. And the other hand, so attractive. But I feel really good. I felt strong. I love recording my back workouts. I love just watching like back muscles move. Ah, it just hits so differently. But I am going to head home now. I don't think I mentioned, I don't know, I'll see what I'm editing, but EAAs I drink during my workout. I showed you that I made them, but I don't think I told you guys that. So just wanted to say that. Hair still looking real good. Gonna go home and I'll show you guys what I do post-workout. So I'm back home now. I'm gonna make a post-workout meal. Sometimes I have a protein shake. Sometimes I have real food. I didn't really have lunch, so I'm gonna have real food. And then I'll make a protein shake later. Today I'm gonna be having this chili that I bought from Longos. I'm gonna have 300 grams of it. It has 330 calories, eight grams of fat, 25 grams of protein and 38 grams of carbs and then I'm gonna have half a cup of this mashed potato It's just leftover from dinner the other night. So I'm gonna put that underneath the chili I like having chili with like bread mashed potatoes rice or something like that So just gonna make use of the mashed 300 grams. So now I'm just gonna put it on the stove top. That's already hot if it would focus and I'm just gonna mix it around so it doesn't burn. While that chili is being made, I'm gonna measure out half a cup of mashed potato, which is 64 grams. And just gonna put this in the microwave so it can warm up. So this is the final product. You can't really see the mashed potato and honestly chili to me just looks like poop, but honestly it's really good. Hi, Kobe. He always shows up when I have food. This is really hot, so I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes. I have a call in 30 minutes for my one-on-one -on -one online coaching. I have a Zoom call with a potential client, which I'm excited for. So I need to eat this fairly quickly and then set up for that. Post-workout nutrition is super important. You should get some carbs and especially protein in your body. There's really no definite time frame as long as you're getting it in. And at the end of the day, you're hitting your protein intake. But if I had to give you any guidance, I would say protein, carbs, within like an hour or two after your workout. I'm always starving after my workout, so I eat pretty much right away. Again, like I said, either a protein shake or I have food. Chili has been like my go-to kind of lately just because one, it's high carbs, high protein, and two, it's just very cold where I live right now. So having like warm food, warm chili is like very calming and comforting. So that's kind of been like my go-to lately. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That was my gym get ready with me, workout with me. 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. Pretty much from now on, what I'll do is I'll have a protein shake later, so it helps me hit my protein intake for the day. I'll take a shower, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. Make sure to subscribe to me down below. Give this video a thumbs up. That helps my channel, and it lets me know that you guys like these types of videos. Otherwise, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye.